Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you are. Today is a beautiful day here in the Midwest, uh, USA. I know most people, parts of other countries, you are sleeping. But uh, just wanted to make this very, very, very important video today. Because today is the eve of the portal being opened so that people can start submitting the DV 2025 applications. And before that, there are a few things I wanted to point out so that you can make this exercise or program a very successful exercise. So guys, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe at the end of it. Well, guys, come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in today to my channel. And I believe that this finds you well wherever you are. If this is your first time to land on this channel, please, I kindly ask you to consider subscribing after looking at my content. For the returning viewers, thank you so much for supporting this uh, channel. Since we started the channel together about uh, two and a half years ago, and where we are, I don't take anything for granted. So tonight, I'm so much excited because today is the eve of the official opening for the online application for the TV 2025. All along, I've been doing videos, and today, I just wanted to do this video so that they can uh, go over a few things which you guys need to remember out there before you start typing on your computer and start putting on th the information. Because this is a very, very, very critical moment and I don't want you guys to uh, get disqualified because of a very, very, very simple mistake. And that's the reason why I'm seated here to go over with you guys some of the things which you need to do a few hours before the portal is going to be open officially. So what I'm going to do is go over a few things. And for those of you who do not know the authentic uh, link where you will be uh, using to um, enter the information for, for for the entry, I'm going to link. I'm going to link this uh, website below the video, uh, so that you can have it at your fingertips at the moment you start. So officially, the portal is going to be open uh, from fourth of October, which is a few hours from now. And then the portal will be left open for people to do their entries until November the 7th. Now, what I usually tell people, don't wait until the last minute. You may say, oh, I don't have time and uh, I will do later. There's nothing like later. The reason why I'm saying the last few days before the, the the window closes, there might be some uh, technology challenges like the server getting overloaded and going down. So it's very, 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 very uh, critical that you take this opportunity very serious and uh, submit your entry successfully. Now, today I wanted to touch a little bit on the eligibility requirements for those ones who never got a chance to see my other video. But since today is the eve of the entry, so I'm going to touch on the eligibility requirements uh, briefly. So to be eligible to enter for this program, you must be a member of 
a native country. In other words, you must come from a country whereby the, the country is eligible to participate. And by eligibility, I mean every year the United States allocates about 55,000 uh, slots for people to apply for this DV uh, green card thing. And by the time it, a country surpasses or it goes over that limit, then it becomes ineligible for that, um, for that particular fiscal year. The, uh, the previous video I did, I put a list of all the countries which do not qualify. And if you want to check before you submit your entry, you are welcome to look at the list and find out if you qualify. So that's point number one. So you have to come from a country, a native country, which qualifies uh, to participate in this program. Number two, each applicant must meet the educational work experience in order to enter this program. So if you don't have educational, for example, the other countries, if you don't have high school equivalents, you will use your work experience. And um, the work experience, so you have to show that uh, that's what you are using uh, to enter that. So the work experience should be two years of work experience uh, within the five, or within the last five years. In that occupation, and it, it requires at least two years of training or experience, like I said, to perform. Those are the two uh, requirements you have to meet. Now, some of you do not or have not heard when the entry is going to start. You've been ha uh, hearing about the green card, the velory. But officially, the applicants, they must submit their entries for the 2025 program. You have to do it electronically. You have to do it online, and you have to make sure the website you are using is the correct website. It's not a phony. It is authentic from the uh, U.S. Department of State. And I'm going to link that website uh, below, the, uh, the, the, below this video so that when you go there, you can right away jump from there. So the website is called www.dvprogram.state.gov. That's the official website, and that is for the government of the United States. So the portal will be open from 12, that's 12 p.m., 12 noon, Eastern Daylight Time. It will run through, and that, that's, uh, that's it, uh, for those ones who are in the United States, Canada. That will be on a Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. And it will run through 12 noon, Eastern Standard Time, on Tuesday, November the 7th, 2023. October the 4th, I repeat again, October the 4th, noon, 2023, through November the 7th, noon, 2023. That's when I, the window crosses. And uh, so make sure between there, you guys uh, get yourself together and uh, complete the uh, electronic. So, Completing 
you are electronic how do you how do you complete so once you log in to the the website the dv program dot state dot gov you're gonna go right away to the section for the forms and the form the entry form which you you are going to fill is called d as in david s as in sam five five zero one ds five five zero one that's the form you're gonna be filling online once you click on it it will open and it will be it will prompt you to start uh, putting in your information and make sure when you put in your information read the instructions if they require uppercase letters use uppercase and for the instructions read the fine print to make sure you don't make any mistakes and that's where most people get disqualified because they don't read instructions uh, properly and for your information the State Department recommends that you complete the application or the entry by yourself. I know some of you there out there, you know, you have people or when you go to a cipher, if you don't have internet at home or in your office and you can't do it from your phone for some reasons, you go and ask somebody to but it's entirely, or it's highly recommended that uh, you use, uh, you do it yourself. I don't want to be using because it's not, this thing is not rocket science. You can do it yourself. So I recommend, and it's recommended on the website, that try to do it without using a visa consultant, a visa agent, or a, pers a person who offers to help you either for money or um, for in an exchange for a service. And for your information, the entry for this program is free. If you go to the right website, you don't you don't have to pay anything. So it's free. And after you enter all the information, don't just close the computer and leave. Wait until the computer tells you that your entry has been submitted successfully. You will see the green light on the submission radio button, which says the application has been submitted correctly. And after you complete that entry, you will see a confirmation screen containing your name. And it's also going to connect, uh, contain a unique confirmation number. That unique confirmation number is very, very, very vital. You need to keep it somewhere safe. Because when it comes uh, May of next year, 2024, that's when you're going to need that number to go to the website to check if you are one of the lucky winners or the lucky people who have been selected uh, for this program. So I recommend that you keep it safe. You can take a picture, keep it safe. Go if you have a printer, go print it out. Go keep it safe where you keep your documents, like passport, uh, your part certificates, your school certificates. Uh, put it right there so that you can uh, have it next time handy when you need it. And um, so that's basically the part which is very, very important when you are filling it out. And uh, some of the parts or the sections which you need to be very careful 
there's some section which asks you to enter uh, your, your name, your last name, family name, and the first name. Uh, please don't make a mistake of mixing the names. If your last name is, uh, let's say, Omondi, and your first name is Joseph, so make sure you write Omondi where the last name and first name and the middle name exactly as it appears on your passport. But don't change the order, don't switch the names and put them in a long um, in a long box when you are filling them out. And uh, if your passport includes, for example, first name, middle name, and last name, list all those names. If you have three names, list all those names uh, on the application. Then we have the gender. You have to indicate if you are male or female. Date of birth. You have to indicate the day, month, and the year. So if for some reasons in your country, the way, for example, I'm from Kenya, the way we write the dates in Africa, uh, we start with the date. If it's on the 4th, we write 4. Then we write the month of October 10, and then the year. But for some reasons, the computer will dictate you on, on how you are going to enter this information. So follow the instructions. The city where you were born, those ones who are in other countries like uh, Canada, like US, when they talk about a city, a city is found inside a state. For example, Chicago is a city which is found in the state of Illinois. And of course, you have to indicate the country where you are born, where you are a citizen. And um, check before, like I said, if you are, your country is eligible to do that. The photographs, the photographs are very, 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 very important. And uh, the State Department, they are very strict on the photos. So make sure the photos, you take the passports, they conform to the requirements. The first thing, if you look around here, this wall, you can see a shadow. You can't, you cannot take a photo which shows a shadow. Or you cannot take a, a photo which does not have a white background. You have to have a white background. And uh, you can, I did another video, you cannot put anything on your head like a, like a hat. And um, on your face, they don't want you to use like uh, glasses. Not unless you have a prescription and you have to produce a document from your physician or your eye doctor which shows that you, you are allowed to wear glasses. Otherwise, if you wear glasses prescription, just take them, take them off a minute, take the photos uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, this green card application. And uh, you cannot wear an uh, outfit with a logo, company name, or, you know, a sports uh, team, anything like that. That one is not allowed. On your head, the only exception is those uh, people coming from certain religions, I know Catholic and Muslims, they sometimes wear 
something on the head because of their religion. That one is, is allowed because of that. And one very important thing which disqualifies a lot of people, and I'm very sure if you are not going to watch this video very carefully, you might end up making a mistake. And this is the way the photo is taken. Uh, make sure when you take your photo, it shows your clear face. Your eyes are facing straight to the camera. You can't turn, tilt your head like this, or this way. You have to look straight to the camera. And for some reasons, they are very strict if uh, your ears, if you want, they won't see your ears on the on the picture. And for some reasons, if your ears are a little bit smaller, and they cannot be seen on the picture, you have to find a way. When the camera person takes your picture, in a way so that they can see both of your ears. Uh, uh, seen on the on on the picture, so that one you, that's where most people make mistakes, and a lot of people, a lot of people get disqualified because of that, and that's the reason why I'm saying that uh, people, uh, these people who are uh, sh uh, shortlisting or checking your documents, a picture, a very simple mistake will disqualify you, and you won't have another chance until uh, next year which is 20, another entry, which is 2026. Okay? So the DV entry photographs, the, that's very important, must meet the same standard as the U.S. visa photos. You may be ineligible for a DV entry if your photograph, you and your family members do not uh, meet those requirements. Uh on uh, the photographs. Otherwise, if you wanted to jump in and see some of the requirements, you can go to the website quick and look at what the requirements are. I did a video about that. And uh, the photograph must be submitted. Uh, submitting a digital photograph, it must be submitted dig digitally. Digital you have to use digital digital technology to submit. And uh, that's that's pretty much about the photograph. If you have a question before you, you start, you can uh, send me a message or write a comment, and then I should be able to respond to that. Other than that, the the form is uh, self-explanatory, user-friendly, but you have to input the uh, necessary information in there uh, before you can uh, submit it. And uh, remember, if you are uh, have other family members, if you are married, you have remember to include your spouse, remember to include all your children. And remember to submit their photographs. And uh, for this year, some of the documents which are needed is the photograph and um, uh, yeah, the, the, the photographs. Those are the just the documents you need. They don't need. They don't need your passport. Uh, the uh, passport for for traveling. That one, the passport will come later. And um, for so for this year, you only make sure you come from a country which uh, qualifies, and uh, the photographs uh, they conform to the requirements which are set uh, by this uh, uh, panel. And. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to scroll down and see if I've uh, touched everything I wanted to touch tonight before officially you guys gonna start uh, uh, submitting. So one uh, one more thing: your photograph or digital image must be in color. 
they must be in focus and uh, the size. So the size uh, should be, be like 20, 22 millimeters by 35 millimeters. And it should be 50% and 69% of the image total height from the bottom of the chin to the top of the head. And, um, you know, it shouldn't be no, not too dark, not too bright, you know, those are the requirements. So I recommend if you don't have a very good camera, go to a FISA expert, the, 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 the person who takes uh, pictures for the, um, for the green card, tell them you want a picture for the green card and they know so they can give you the pictures which are, which are confirming to uh, what they want. And um, wear no more clothes, don't wear fancy clothes, no headphones, and uh, no funny facial expressions, be yourself, and uh, no funny smiling to the camera, be yourself, because uh, that's uh, what they would like to see. And of course, the picture, when you save it, should be as a, J a JPG, Joint Photograph Image, uh, former, and it should be equal or less to 240 kilobytes in file size. Because if it's too large, you won't be able to upload it to their servers. And it should be in a square aspect ratio. The height, the height must be equal to the width. Yeah, that's 600 times 600 pixel dimensions. And uh, that's pretty much about the photographs. And uh, that's all I can think about. So guys, I thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. I know it's a long video, but uh, it's worth it. So watch it from the start to the end. And um, look out for my many videos coming, days to come. I will be following and I know I will be very happy and I know some of my subscribers out there are going to win this thing. And I believe that everybody has a chance out there to uh, win this thing. But remember, you have to be in to win. Uh, so I'm encouraging as many people to uh, sign up and then uh, try your luck. We do this video, this is the only platform we have to give you information, guys, and uh, we don't charge, charge for anything. So the only thing we can um, ask you is to subscribe to our channel. In that way, you can motivate us to for taking our time to come and put this content together. And uh, share with your friends. There are people out there, I'm very sure, who up to the, this last minute, they are not prepared, but if you can share this video with them, probably you can save them. And um, I wish you all the best. My subscribers, returning subscribers, those ones who are new are going to subscribe right now. Uh, please, before you exit, make sure you subscribe and do follow us. Otherwise, I wish everybody was going to enter this one a very good luck. And uh, I hope to see you soon in uh, next video. Bye-bye. Have a good night.